War erupts across Europe. The German Empire, a newcomer to the colonial scene, swiftly harnesses industrial might to spread its influence both across the continent and beyond. Standing shoulder to shoulder with Austria-Hungary, these two German powers exploit Europe's tense atmosphere, embarking on a multi-front war to seize new land. Meanwhile, Britain, France, and Russia unite in the Entente Alliance, aiming to shift the scales of power in their favor on the European stage. Archduke Franz Ferdinand's assassination triggers a series of declarations. Austria-Hungary blames Serbia, leading to war. Russia, bound by alliance, joins the conflict. Germany locks horns with both Russia and France. Despite past rivalries, Britain and France strive for an ease of relations, yet Britain hesitates to join the Entente's war effort. In the midst of this war between empires, Germany and Austria eye potential gains amidst the chaos. The stage is set for an intense struggle as two sides aim for dominance. I can't believe it. This is a war of aggression. Don't think I'm bound to your alliance as it was supposed to be a defensive one. I'm not joining your imperialist causes. The United States will stand firmly neutral, though I will provide supplies to the belligerents as required. The time has come, Austria. I am to execute the Schlieffen plan to secure a swift victory over France. You may invade Russia while I concentrate my efforts on the Western Front for the time being. At last we will reveal our military plans to this continent. At last I will avenge the death of Franz Ferdinand by making Serbia pay. We must not confine ourselves to limited ambitions, my ally. War is the ultimate gamble. If we play our cards right, numerous territories can be added to our dominions. I am counting on it. You may think I am evil. I am not. I am efficient. I won't stand by this. You're violating Belgian neutrality by advancing your troops into the country. I recall Prussia signed the Treaty of London, guaranteeing the territorial integrity of Belgium, didn't it? A small price to pay to advance my goals. I demand that you withdraw your troops from the territory, or I may be inclined to join the war effort against you. Ah, indeed it shall be, Britain. The moment might be ripe for the world to behold my naval supremacy reigning supreme over you. I must say, your remarks are rather outrageous. Regrettably, you've left me with no alternative. The British Empire is to wage war against the vile German Empire. As a proud Canuck in the domain of Canada, it's only right for me to stand by the motherland. Count on my support, Britain. Indeed. While I reckon the Empire's forces may take some time to reach the European front, I appreciate your unwavering support. Greetings, Japan. It might be right to assume that you've got the idea of why I'm present here. Britain-san, it's good to see you. You are right, though. I have been watching the European situation closely. Are you asking me to help you fight Germany? By now, your status is that of a proper global power. It's these types of matters that concern you as well. You ought to procure Germany's imperial holdings in the Pacific and thus annihilate the Imperial German Navy in the process. The time has come at last. I would promptly declare war on Germany. It would be an honor to be fighting on your side of Britain, son. You've come a long way, Japan. I will watch your career with great interest. 
and I shall look forward to ending the war with you at our negotiation table. Listen up, mate. When the Empire's in a scrap, so are we. Everything we've got in Australia is for the Empire, and it's all about preserving and securing the Empire's safety. Dead serious. New Zealand will tag along too. I must ask this of you, Australia and New Zealand. I shall hereby request for you to destroy German wireless radio bases within Germany's colonial possessions in the Pacific. It will be done. All right then, New Zealand, you'll lead the effort to capture German New Guinea and I'll be sure to help you out. So it is. The stage is set. And destiny compels us to stand together, France. And that was the order point from the beginning, you idiot! My obligation directs me to aid my ally Belgium, rather than you. If the occasion arises, the landing of British troops in France shall provide excellent exercise, in case I may see fit to invade your country in the future. <sighs> Peu importe. Our main concern right now is containing the German expansion. Right boys, reports indicate that the advancing German troops in Belgium have committed several war crimes in what I assume would be an effort to quell a potential rebellion. Victims include not just the men, but the women and children too much. Sir, our citizens are deeply troubled by the events of the so-called Rape of Belgium. Despite the great majority of our citizens being of German descent, many have come to resent the Central Powers. Yes, but this isn't our war. We will begin to stop trade with Germany and Austria, and supply France, Britain, and Russia instead. We must see to it that Germany isn't allowed to outflank our troops. I have a plan. We'll have to race them to the sea, though... Belgium will be isolated, I am afraid. Under the circumstances, it seems we must resort to digging trenches. I'd suggest using new ships to enact a blockade right now in a minute. We do have the means to do so, without access to international waters, is it? I'm absolutely positive that Germany will weaken over time, see? Indeed. In addition to that, I shall strike a decisive blow against their navy for it presents a significant threat to our hegemony in the seas. As expected, so naive for you to think that it will take such actions to wear my empire down. You may have thought of yourself as the sole naval power, but I'm here to break apart that illusion. Now, we have to worry about these U-boats. The only thing these Germanics know is violence. Of course I should know.
It's over, Germany. You can't afford to fight the two-front war. Eventually, you'll break, and I will be the one to rake in the victories. You underestimate my power. Though I must confess that my Schlieffen plan faced setbacks. I was counting on defeating France already by the time your troops mobilized. Not that I expect much from you anyway. I've heard you lost a war to Japan, an empire of your size losing to a non-European country. Pathetic. You don't know what you're talking about, Kraut. Mind your own business. Indeed. I have great plans for these western territories of yours. Your territories will make a fine addition to my collection. Don't you understand? Sieging foreign ethnic groups will only create more discontent within your lousy empire. It's foolish for someone to feel proud of an artificial country. I'm a firm proponent of ethnostates. Countries like you are the result of unfair conquests and subjugations. <laughs> How short-sighted. Germany and I will be the dominant powers on this continent, and perhaps the entire Earth. Don't you think people would like to be a part of that? I'd rather die on my knees than to kneel before the Germans who run your empire. It's only a matter of time before your empire breaks apart from within. Babbling fool. Hello there. Russia. You are a bold one. I will deal with this fool myself. You hear that? That's the sound of a thousand terrible things heading this way. Don't think this will go easy for you. A new ally is expected to join me in Germany. Interesting move, but I am the one to benefit from the Ottoman Empire. A warm water port and those oil reserves will surely do me well. Not that it would make much of a difference, but we could use this opportunity to capture Germany's overseas colony. Certainly. It would appear that the Germans lack the infrastructure to defend such lands. Given that my blockade has proved to be quite effective. Très bien. At least there is less things that we have to worry about now. Do you recall my alliance with Japan by any chance? Ah, indeed. The British poser. I've discussed the situation with him, and he was eager to join the war on our side. He shall promptly seize Germany's colony of Qingdao in China. Might you contribute in supplies as I will do? Absolutely. The more we can wear down Allemagne, the better. You bastard! Such kind words.
I must admit, Britain, your blockade has proven to be quite the hassle. But two can play that game. You tried to starve my people, and so your civilian shall pay the price. It is a fair retribution. <sighs> this is not ideal, man. Ugh, trench warfare hasn't developed necessarily to our advantage. Bretagne, this is the rare moment we can agree on something. An offensive against the Germans is in order. We must try to procure the upper hand. Pourquoi? It seems all of our troops die for no significant gain. This is a war of attrition. I'm aware. My efforts to try to limit German trade with my blockade appear to have minimal impact on their military prowess. I do not like this situation one bit. If we don't fight, we risk being absorbed by the German Empire. Not my case. But nonetheless, we shall attempt to strike again. Britain's blockade has grown to be such a nuisance on my end. I can't stand this any longer. British civilians shall pay the price for this inconvenience. A bombing campaign is sure to demoralize civilians. The faster we can break their spirits, their war efforts will collapse. I must admit that your navy is quite formidable. You have my appreciation on that front. So I am soon to ascend to the throne of Europe's leading naval power. I shall be the judge of that. How despicable of your U-boats to attack innocent merchant ships! How far must you go with your cheap tactics? So, as you might be aware, your blockade is anything but legal. It is only fair that I was to return the favour. Your unjust actions in the future will be met with the utmost resistance, as you will notice from now on. Be wary of German U-boats. They could compromise our supply line with the United States. Je sais, I'm well aware. I do not like them either. Hmm. Things aren't going well for you. Your citizens aren't happy with the state of the war or your inept czar. You might consider surrendering before I cripple your army and your citizens turn on your government. Mind your own business and keep your thoughts to yourself while you're at it. I will not be defeated that easily. Sorry about the delay. My forces are here to defend His Majesty King George V's homeland as well as the Empire as a whole. Looks like this fight's gonna be quite tough, eh? Oh, Canada! A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one! Well, I guess it is expected of me to be here. I am a proud constituent of the British Empire, after all. Indeed! Welcome, Canada! Our ties run deep and it's heartening to have you here.
Sir, I must inform you that the British RMS Lusitania has been sunk off the coast of Ireland, being yet another victim of unrestricted German submarine warfare. 1,198 of the 1,969 people aboard have been killed, including 128 American lives. Thank you for letting me know, DC. Arrange a meeting, please. Germany, I thought I made myself abundantly clear that I'm not fighting any war in Europe. I expect you to respect my decision to remain neutral in your war. That includes American citizens. Leave them out of this. You profess neutrality, yet the shadows reveal the true story. The nature of such vessels isn't humanitarian, but rather of a military purpose. You may disguise your true intentions, yet I am aware that those ships are carrying crucial military supplies to my enemies. Your claims don't excuse your actions. I'm not going to discuss this anymore. So I expect you to respect my neutrality, period. I do not like to be pessimist, but it doesn't seem like Russie forces are making too much progress. At this rate, nothing will be done. Indeed. Perhaps it would be wise to persuade Italy to join our alliance against the Central Powers. Very good point. That would help a great deal. Greetings, Italy. We have arrived to offer you a proposition that may be of the utmost interest to you. Buonasera. Let me hear it then. Have you considered being part of our war effort? By forcing Austria to fight a true front war, our chance of winning will increase. Besides, if you play your card right, you may end up annexing a couple of patches of land from Austria. Just like I would like to recover Alsace-Lorraine from Allemagne. It may be a bit hypocritical, considering I was allied with the Central Powers, to a certain extent. But, frankly, the Alpine region of Austria is quite beautiful. I wouldn't mind extending mine. You have my total support. I should have expected as much from a tracer's IQ. Save your remarks. Your people are noticeably discontent, Russia. The popularity of Tsar Nicholas II diminishes with each passing day. I don't want to listen to you, crowd. Yet another incident, Germany? The SS Arabic that you sank had American passengers. Will we really need to go through this again? I can only be so patient. Must we really be at odds? You and I share a lot in common. I will make an effort to limit attacks carried out by my U-boats in respect of the country that traces a lot of its heritage from Germany. I am nothing like you. Am I wrong for aspiring to expand the territory of the Germans? Did the concept of a manifest destiny not tread a similar path? This conversation is over. Bulgaria will be joining our side. I'll see to it that we overrun Serbia. Very well. It feels like all my sacrifices will be for nothing. All my efforts and no gains. You and I, mon ami. You and I.
I'll fight until the very end. All in service to the Empire. Good, good. Montenegro is now ours. Serves you right. I am fatigued. Will we really be able to keep it up much longer? Live to fight another day, France. Live to fight another day. I'm so sick of you all, I want you gone! If there's anything this war has taught us, it's that the spirit of self-determination prevails over the existence of an artificial state. The Great War started because people didn't see themselves as Austrian. Why would they? The Austrians rule the rest of the multi-ethnic empire without sharing the same values. And seeing this has awakened me. If not now, then when? Ireland must detach itself from the imperial rule of the English. We will be free. But I... You might want to take care of that. Gee, I can't imagine why one would try to separate itself from the Empire. Hope that gets resolved for you. This marks a turning point in Irish independence. No longer shall we be bound by the dictates of a government in London. We are not of English descent, and our destiny lies in our own hands. Where is that? Don't you feel the same way, brother? Us Celts should run our own states. Well, I must admit that this patriotic war against the Germanics isn't exactly what I had in mind now, is it? But there's still a war to be dealt with before starting a new one, Ireland. Sorry, boyo. But the day will come one day, brother. We must fight. Oh, the last thing I need right now is a separatist plot. I've heard enough. You are to seize hostilities. Otherwise, I'll be forced to put an end to your separatist delusion. Yes, I suppose that happens when you try to write for your rebel, doesn't it? I, I gave up those dreams long ago when facing reality, isn't it? I see your situation has been dead weight, oui? Well, I've been meaning to ask, uh, how will we divide all the land of the Ottoman Empire? After the guerre. Assuming the victory falls within our courts, it is likely that the Ottoman Empire will be no more. For the time being, we shall occupy parts of its former territory until we decide what to do with them. D'accord. We will get around to doing that if we come out of this war in one piece. I've been meaning to put my navy to the test against the greatest of adversaries. Reserve your flatteries. I'm well aware of your intentions of breaking my blockade. You won't catch me off guard. Uh, considering the costs involved, I won't try doing that ever again. Go. That looked expensive, man. Ah. <sighs> You're not wrong. Overwhelmed? Did you bite off more than you could chew? Bastard. Germany, I suppose I find myself asking for your aid on the Eastern Front. Our alliance is needed more now than ever. You are costing me critical resources. Blind to the fact that your actions may empower Britain and France to breach my defenses. Your short-sightedness is your undoing. I know. My apologies. Don't apologize. It makes you look weak. <sighs> you had to go cry for help, didn't you? 
You will pay for making me go through such humiliation. I have a bad feeling about this. I fear the worst is yet to come. We have no other option but to keep pressing on. That was quite brutal. Frankly, I'm beginning to question whether our strategy will pan out. It all seems hopeless. I know, I know, Bretagne. But both sides have suffered tremendous casualty and ache. This is far from over, but cheer up, Romani will join our alliance and it may not be much but it could get a load off of our back. It sure would be dandy to have more folks on our side. I'm proud to unveil this formidable juggernaut I've dubbed the Tank. With its impenetrable armor and fierce armaments, Victory shall be upon us. Pretty cool, eh? Oh, très bien. How many of these do you have? Uh, frankly, not a lot. One could say it's still a work in progress as I haven't perfected the engineering quite yet. Ah, je vois. I really hope this will be useful in the future. Right, but not enough to make a tangible difference. <laughs> Good job, troops! I know the situation back home has been fierce, but I'm glad I can count on you all to drive these crowds off our lands. I hate you so much. Likewise, Italy. We've got this. Romania needs to fall down. I'll trust this operation under your capable hands. As you wish. It will be done. How dare you try to attack us? Know your place! I understand that many of you feel the war in Europe is distant and not our concern. However, we must consider the stakes and the numbers involved. Our military, for example, is currently behind that of Germany's. Yo, our great country hasn't seen the need to keep up with the big old numbers of them European folks. We're lucky we ain't got serious threats from them. It's a good thing we have the mighty Atlantic and Pacific Oceans keeping us nice and far away from all that mess. What do you mean, bro? All I'm saying is, we ain't got no personal beef with nobody over yonder. Now, does it make a lick of sense to y'all that just because a Serb killed an Austrian in Bosnia, we Americans gotta go fight the Germans in France? Dude, you lost me there. He's right, Callie. We must stand by President Wilson's neutral stance on the war. But regardless of how the war started, Germany has used the conflict as a mean to expand their power and territory. We can't just ignore that, even from way over here in the States. Far as I can tell, this really ain't no different than any other war they've had. We might have leaned toward Britain and France, but that's only because of dang blockade they went and put up. Of course, we ain't gonna be able to trade with Germany and Austria, but that's just because of how things turned out. Kinda funny how we don't feel all that close to Britain, dude. You gotta give credit to Canada for being so loyal, but here we are. I mean, we like, speak English and everything, but, you know, France has always had our backs, bro. We shouldn't let our personal feelings cloud our judgment, Callie. And ironically enough, France has had our back against Britain. Oh, those two. Well, what's it gonna be then? The status quo. We will continue providing Britain, France, and their allies with supplies and credit from our banks. However, our true allegiance is to no one. 
in line with President Wilson's ideals for mediating peace, I must try to negotiate with them. Over there. Your war of attrition is costing you millions of lives and dollars. Some of you owe me quite a lot of money because of the war. Will all of you be able to pay the interest back? Your front lines have barely changed. Wouldn't you all be okay with signing an armistice with what you all have? Things aren't likely to change except for your rising debts. I want strong European partners to trade with. And that can't happen if you all wear each other down. This ignorant fool has no place in European affairs. Are you sure you know what you're even talking about? Or could you point out some of our dominions on the map? Mind your own business, ignorant. Well, can't say I didn't try. Je m'excuse, mon ami. But our nationalist pride won't allow us to end this war unless either side have been completely detruit. We've gone so far to reach this point, we might as well see it through. You know, you could send your troop, and this would be over much faster. That'll be a no, friends. You're my ally, and I'm more than happy to help you out in Britain. But it wouldn't be right for me to intervene in a war that's thousands of miles away. Oh, goodness me! A war across the ocean in Europe! Oh, I see. It's quite convenient that you can't intervene, isn't it? Funny how distance suddenly matters, huh? Guess we can't all pick and choose our battles like some folks can. Look, Canada. I get where you're coming from, but you know it's not that simple. I've got my own things to handle first, and decisions are never easy. I wish I could swoop in and make everything right, but that's not how the world works. Roman civilization has ruled this continent for a thousand years. Now, the time has come for us Germanics to rule over the continent. True power can only come to those who embrace the transformation. This is where the fun begins. I guess a peace settlement is off the cards, DC. What are the reports on what the people feel about the sinking of boats by Germany? Our citizens are outraged. German sentiment continues to sour. Many ask if there will be a time to intervene. I don't feel like it's the right thing to do right now. But it is something to consider if it is what the people really want. Is it really right to fight over there? 